Hello YouTube, this is Frank from Happy Coder, and today in this week's video, I would like to talk to you about how to use the Bash scripting language to automate a very simple task on your OS X Mac developing machine. And to be more specific, the task that we'll be automating today is the process of uh, working with a Git remote repository. And um, traditionally speaking, the process involves adding all the content of a folder to the staging area, committing it, and finally pushing it to your remote repository. Today we'll be looking at how to use Bash to condense this whole process down to a script file and execute it, or just uh, condense everything down to a simple keystrokes if you have the Alfred software installed on your developing machine. So without further ado, let's get into today's content. All right, the first thing that I would like to talk about is uh, the reason why I love using uh, this piece of software called Tapara to take all my programming related notes. And the reason being you get all these very slick looking syntax highlights, syntax highlighted code blocks within your markdown, you know, programming notes. And the second thing is that, you know, you get this very organized outline so that you can easily traverse to the different sections of your notes. And I have already made a video regarding uh, the reason why I think Typar is the best software for you to take your programming notes with. And you can find a link to that video uh, somewhere here uh, under the interactive card. And I've placed all my programming notes under this uh, folder under my documents directory called programming notes and I've already linked it to a remote GitHub repository. And to demonstrate that to you, we're going to do a git remote-v under this directory so that we can see that clearly this you know, local repository has a corresponding remote repository on GitHub that has both a push stream and a fetch stream under the name origin. And with that said, let me demonstrate to you that without the power of the Bash scripting language, the long form of going through this whole process of adding the newly added contents, committing everything with a commit message, and finally push it to your upstream. And hopefully, by contrast, you can see that how much typing uh, we can save by condensing this whole process down to a very simple Bash file. Okay, so the long form of going about doing that is to do a you know, get status, and we can see that indeed we have something that need to be added to the staging area. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is to use a git add dot period. I mean, a git add period command to add everything uh, that is unstaged um, from the from this directory to our staging area. And after that, we need to do a git commit with a dash m message telling the you know just basically logging a one line message you know reminding us what this command is about in a very brief manner we're going to lock this commit message as files renamed and after that we're going to do a git push to push the you know commit we have just made to our remote repository. And we're going to be prompted with this dialog to enter our login credential for the GitHub. And after we have entered the password, it's gonna do its thing and tell us that basically this local repository is in sync with our remote repository. Okay, so that was a lot of typing and now let's take a look at how to condense everything down to a bash using the born again shell scripting language. And to do that, let's create a bash script file on our desktop. So the Linux command of creating a file is, is to use the touch directive. So we're gonna do a touch test.sh and we can see that this test scripting file has been successfully created on our desktop. And to give ourselves the privilege to uh, read, write, and execute this file, we're gonna do a change mode command. 
and give it a code of 755 so that the owner which is us have the privilege to write read and execute this file we're going to operate this command on this task.sh file and after that let's open up this scripting file in our favorite text editor so we do a code task.sh and the first line of the um, shell script we're going to do a shebang and all it does is that it, uh, we're going to tell your terminal application or your shell environment what kind of you know automation what kind of scripting language the script file is written in so instead of uh, Python or Node.js, this scripting file is written in uh, the Bash scripting language. The next thing we would like the scripting file to do, because this uh, this file is currently sitting on our desktop, which is not the directory that is being hooked to our um, GitHub remote repository, we need to do a cd change directory directive to go to that particular folder. So we're going to go to home slash uh, documents slash programming notes and after we have changed our directory to that particular folder we can uh, you know do our git thing so the first thing we're going to do is to do a git add period so all the new contents that need to be pushed to our remote repository is going to be added to the staging area and after that we need to do a git commit with a with an m flag and a one line message briefly describing what kind of uh, thing this commit is going to do and it is at this position we're going to run into a little problem if every single commit message is the same it really defeat the purpose of using a bash script file to do this and in this case because this whole directory is all about our programming nodes I think it's very appropriate for the one line commit message to just lock the current date to tell to have a history of you know when is this commit being made on and the method of adding the current date dynamically into our scripting file is that is in my opinion to create a variable to hold the current date and time and just to simply output the content of the variable inside of this pair of double quotes so let's go about doing that and the method of creating a variable within the bash scripting environment is to simply you know name your variable in all caps which is the convention and immediately follow that by the equal operator and after the equal operator, let's do dollar sign and a pair of parentheses. And inside of the parentheses, we're going to use the date command, which not only gives us the current, you know, date, but also the time. And inside of this pair of um, double quotes, we're just simply going to say changes made on. And at this position, we we'll just call the variable that we have just created. And we're going to do that by using dollar sign and immediately after that we do the name of the variable after that line we're going to uh, push everything that we have just committed to our remote repository by by using the command git push and i would also like to see some sort of notification pop up to let us know that everything has been going well and the method of accessing your notification center using the bash script is to use the OSA script OSA script directive and this OSA directive is going to allow you to append some Apple script or JSA uh, inside of your bash script file and what Apple script is is that it is a scripting language invented by Apple that allows you to do automation which really exposes a lot of the you know mac os layer to you so we're going to do uh, we're going to use a e flag and after that we're going to say display notification and after that we're going to use a pair of single quotes to say pushed to remote and we optionally we can use 
with title to add a title to our notification message and let's give the title a name of success and that's essentially everything we need to automate within the single script file now let's save the file and go to our terminal and our and on our desktop environment let's execute the test.sh file by typing period slash test.sh okay it's currently telling us that there's nothing to commit because we haven't added anything and to fix that I have just modified the notification message so that it can display normally and to see that the scripting file indeed works let's make some very minor changes to our uh, Linux shell scripting learning notes file let's add some trivia messages like a very minor change and if we go to our terminal application to see the git status we can see that indeed now is an uh, opportune opportunity for us to you know test out the feasibility of the shell script file that we have just created and now let's run the previous command and it's going to ask us for our login credential And now we can see the notification message and it's going to tell us that our remote repository is now in sync with our current local repository. And to check and to be really sure of that, let's go to our repository and refresh it. And we can, we can see that 75 seconds ago, we have made some changes on the Linux shell scripting learning notes file. So that tells us that, you know, our scripting file is indeed working. And that is just a very simple example, a very basic demonstration of uh, using the shell, using the bash scripting language to automate some very basic tasks. Hopefully you can see that you can use the same sort of knowledge to automate some very complex tasks and potentially save you tons of time and tons of typing. Alright guys, that's all I have to say in this video. I hope you found it to be informative and I will see all of you in next week's video. Bye bye.